And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a way for people to get around. So God created transit. He said, I need something for all the people who have to get up before dawn, work all day in the city, stay after hours at work, come home to eat, and tuck their kids in at night. So God created transit. He said, I need something for those days when people are too tired to drive or just tired of driving. So God created trains and buses that run on a schedule getting you where you need to go on time. He said, I need something that will move people and goods through hurricanes and heat waves that won't break down in snowstorms or get stuck in traffic, that helps the people who work 70 hours a week with no break and gives people on board a few minutes to relax. So God created transit. God said, I need something that won't pollute the earth or cost regular people a lot of money. I need a kind of infrastructure that won't divide communities or exclude the poor. So God created transit. It had to be pleasant to get to, wait for, ride on. It had to be a place to see, meet, greet, watch, and fall in love with people. It had to give folks a few minutes to dream their dreams. So God created transit. And on those days when gas prices were too high, when you had no affordable way to get to work, to get to the store, to church, or to your family, when you got home, your son said, I don't ever want to need a car to live my life, Dad. Thank God there's transit.